What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today, and today we're gonna check out Demonology on my secondary computer here at UltraWide. Real quick, I kind of cheated and just made sure it was actually UltraWide supported, and at least in the safe house before jumping into the game, everything was good, so should be good once we get into the game. So before we hop in though, as usual, for all the newcomers, let's go over all the specs of this guy real quick. We got a 5800X3D, we got a RTX 3090 Founders Edition, we have an ASRock Z, not Z, X570 Tai Chi motherboard, we got 32 gigs of 3600 megahertz DDR4, CL14, and dual rank. We got an EK Basic all-in-one 360 millimeter radiator cooling the CPU. 1000 watt Corsair RM uh, PSU powering everything. And then what everyone always looks at and what you're looking at when you play games is an Alienware 34 inch ultra wide monitor. It's IPS, 120 hertz. It just has G-Sync. No G-Sync and FreeSync or anything like that. Just one. So unfortunately with this guy, you're stuck to an NVIDIA card. Not like NVIDIA cards. I say like NVIDIA cards are bad, but I kind of just having the options sometimes AMDs are a little bit better if you don't care about ray tracing and shit. So it'd be nice to be able to just hook whatever one I want up. So that's why I'm excited to get that Corsair monitor. I think that thing would be pretty sick and it also bends and whatnot. So that'd be cool too. Anyway though, now we've got all that out of the way, let's go hop on into the game and see how it plays. Well, all right guys, let's get ourselves some settings on the secondary computer. Sorry about the stupid recording I started thing. Even though the window's in full screen, it must still have been like in windowed mode when I took this recording. It probably doesn't like do the settings till I backed out like I just did. But anyway, we're gonna just max this game out just like we did on the laptop. I see no reason why this shouldn't be able to play maxed out. And it supports ultra wide, so that's pretty cool. So let's hop into the game and see how the secondary computer handles it. All right, guys, let's get ourselves a little screen recorder gameplay here on the secondary computer. Let's pick up all of our equipment. I still don't know what fucking any of it really does, but it's still better to have it, I guess, than not, because maybe I'd. It, the game would finally just tell me what to do when I get to it, you know? But yeah, we're uh, we're definitely getting some FPS, that's for sure. I will say this, this game definitely utilizes cores pretty well. I mean, we're getting 42% of this freaking 8-core 5800X3D. But since we're letting it go unrestricted, that's also probably doing that. If we limited it to 120 or whatnot, it would probably drop all, all this shit down a little bit. And we'd get a lot better temps, too. But it's not like it's ultra fucking hot. But even when it's being run pretty hard at like 50%, it only takes like 73 watts. And it's only at like 67 degrees. But it's got that, it's got that giant ass radiator on it, so of course it's not going to get that hot. And the GPU is 66, but that thing has a beastly frickin' cooler on it, and uh, this case is just awesome for cooling, which is why I got it. I wanted, like, one of the best air cool cases I could find, and I wanted one that not a lot of people had. I'm kind of weird like that. A lot of times I like obscure cases. The only one I kind of broke that rule with is the Big Chungus computer, my main one. Because a lot of people have that case, the P5 thermal take, but I really like the way it looked. I wanted open air design since all those components got hot as fuck. Though I feel like sometimes I should add like a little fan or something behind my computer and just put it up, like a little desk fan or something, just to get some airflow. But then that kind of kills my silence. I kind of like the silence. Nothing really overheats anyway. I guess I don't really got to do all that on my main computer. It's just sometimes things feel hot when I just like put my hand over the top of it because all that heat's just radiating up as heat tends to do. If you find heat falling, I don't know. Something's going on. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Cold air falls, warm air rises. That's how it's supposed to happen anyway. Still, this is a pretty freaking creepy game. I'm kind of excited to actually play it for real, but I'm gonna have to probably look this one up, I think, online, because it's not really giving me any good information to go on, and I want to know how to actually do stuff in it. I mean, I've gotten some spirits to, like, spook me and whatnot, but, I mean, that's probably just the game being the game. I don't think that's, like, the main concept. I'm supposed to, like, talk to them and capture them or something, it sounds like. So I'm pretty much like a fucking Ghostbuster.
Got some weird ass black and white TV in here. It was like looking at some freaking doll or some shit. Candles? Can I light the candle? No. <laughs> There's even a little ghost on the top there. I didn't even notice him. On the top of this little device he's got. See, I wished I had a frickin' flashlight. I opened up a door or something there, but I don't know if it was like a door or like just like a cabinet or something, you know? Though there doesn't seem to be too many uh, like cabinet doors I can open so far, so it probably is a door I can walk in. I just can't see anything, unfortunately. I probably have to just guess and just go forward and hope I found the light switch or light source. But all right, we're pretty much back at home base now, so I would say it's about time for us to go and do some camera recorded gameplay now. Well, all right, guys, let's get ourselves a little tiny bit of some camera recorded gameplay now. Hmm, almost looks like an Impala. Anyway. So let's just walk around here. Since I don't have to move my secondary computer anywhere, I don't have to actually quit the game to start this. I can just pause real quick. We didn't change any settings. We're at the exact same settings we were at. I'm not going to lie. I still have no idea what any of this stuff does. You scared my cat, stupid ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Got to call it Ghostbusters in here. I probably would feel a lot better if I had a fucking giant fucking plasma rifle strapped to my back. How we decided that hurts Ghost, decided I still don't quite understand that, but hey, I'll give it to him. It's a fucking movie, you know? Who, who fucking cares? <laughs> Most movies, if you think about them hard enough, make it absolutely no fucking sense half the time. Don't get me wrong, there's some that are realistic, but a lot of them don't make any fucking sense. So I can't go around anywhere in here, really. Oh. Interesting. So even though I'm using my controller, I can move around, but I can't, like, react with anything anymore. I have to use the keyboard and mouse. Interesting. Alright, then. We'll get that out, then. Since it doesn't take up as much room. I wish there was like some light source in here. Because there's something right there, and I don't know if it's a room to go in, just some something I'm opening, like a drawer or something, or what, you know? <laughs> you can hear the generator or whatever is causing all these lights to work.
point, though, I think that's plenty of camera recorded gameplay, so why don't we go and wrap this video on up now? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for demonology, at least on the secondary computer. We still got the primary computer to do, but handled it absolutely flawlessly. Still a random little stutter here and there, but I feel like that's just kind of what the game does. I think anytime you pre-cache a new area, it's generally smooth as shit until I get to a random spot, and then I'll turn around or something, and oh, there, we got a little frame trying, tiny little tiny frame drop, nothing too major. It's not like I'm saying this game's a stuttery mess, unplayable or anything like that, just being honest with what I see, but let's be honest, I don't think we need it to be at 250 FPS anyway. It'd probably be a lot smoother at 120, but I thought that on the Steam Deck too, so maybe that's not the case. So I don't want to make baseless claims. So you'll have to test that one out for yourselves and see what happens. Because that'll create a hell of a lot less heat in your room, that's for sure. Letting your computer just run fucking to the high nines is just like asking for your room to be 85 degrees. But anyway, that is about all we got for this particular video. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I sure certainly enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, Peace out, guys.